Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome to another reading of the Elder Scrolls. Today we're going to be reading The Legend of Red Eagle and Red Eagle's Rights. Let's start with The Legend of Red Eagle this time. The Legend of Red Eagle by Trindren Turandandren. Okay, Archivist of Winterhold. <clears throat> this tale was transcribed from the memory of Clarice Vlin, student of Winterhold. Enemies of the legend suggest the date first era? No, uh, circa first era 1030. Mm -hmm. uh, though, as with any oral tradition, much of it is likely a later anarchism. An an anarchism? Sure. Curiosity. Curi no, no, let me try it again. Curiously, stories of a similar tri. God damn it. Try this again. <clears throat> Curiously, stories of a similar king. Similar king. God damn it! Curiously, stories of a similar king and his legendary blade appear in other ancient myths of the Reach. Long ago, a child was born in the Sundered Hills. They named him Falone, which means Red Eagle, in the tongue of the Reach. For the screeching bird call that greeted his birth and the crimson blooms on the autumn hills. Thus began his legend, Reach Child, born under auspicious skies, his very name the colour of blood. Ten kings ruled the Reach in, the, in those days, and though men were free, the people were scattered and warred among themselves. The augurs foresaw the boy's destiny, a warrior without peer, first and foremost lord of the Reach, chosen to unite all under his name. Falun grew in years and strength, and it seemed the prophecy would be fulfilled. The banner of the Red Eagle was raised along the cliffs of the Reach, and his people prospered. Then came Hestra, Empress of the South, riding to war. One by one the king stood before her. One by one they fell aside, bending knee in imperial bargains, or slaughtered on the battlefield. Her legions came at last to the Sundered Hills, and envoys were sent to bargain for their surrender. Falun refused to yield the freedom of his people, but the elders were afraid, cast him out, and accepted the imperial yoke. Thus was stolen by the, the foreign invaders, his land, his people, his very name. <clears throat> In the years that followed, Red Eagle became known as the Untamed Spirit of the Reach unbowed, unbroken, stained by the blood of his foes. He gathered loyal reachmen for himself, those who clung to the old ways, <clears throat> who yearned for freedom and forged a new nation. Together they fell upon the occupiers and the traitors by night, disappearing into the cliffs and caves each morn, evading capture. <clears throat> it was not enough, for every imperial patrol and garrison they wiped out yet more seemed to march for the green south to replace them. One night, under a cloud-choked sky, the men of the, e the, 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 the men of the Red Eagle, I thought it was going to be the Red of the Rage, or whatever, the men of the Red Eagle warmed themselves over damp fires of smouldering moss. A huddled, shambling figure came to them, cloaked in rags, face cowled. Though his men mocked and cast stones at the stranger, Falun sensed something and beckoned. The cow was thrown back in the dim night, and she revealed herself to be one of the ancient and veritable Hagravens. She offered power for a price, and a pact was made. Thus was brokered with the witch, his heart, his will, his humanity. From that day forth, his was a spirit of vengeance, pitiless and beyond remorse. The rebels grew in strength and number, and none could stand against them. Falun's eyes burned coldly in those days, black opals reflecting a mind not entirely his own. So it's kind of like the ghost of Tsushima, or it's the ghost of the Reach. Hmm. Two years passed, and the foreigners were all but driven from the Reach. Such peace could not last, however, <clears throat> and a great host fell upon them, a swift army of invaders unlike any before. For a fortnight, Hestra's generals laid siege to Red Eagles, stronghold, till he himself came forth for battle, <clears throat> alone, and robed in nothing but his righteous fury, so naked. 
A thousand foreigners fell before his flaming sword. And the enemy was routed. <clears throat> Yet when night fell, so too did he. The warriors who came to him said Falun's eyes were clear again on that final night. He was taken to the place prepared for him, a tomb hidden deep within the rock. With his remaining strength, he presented his sword to his people and swore an oath. Fight on, and when at last the reach is free, his blade should be returned, that he might rise and lead them again. Thus was given for his people, his life, his dream, his sword. But when every debt is repaid in blood, these he shall reclaim once more. Hmm. So that was The Legend of Red Eagle. And I'm not a fan of how long it takes to get back to the beginning of the book. I think Morrowind and Daggerfall, you could just like, just mash the button and it would... Mm. Mm. <clears throat> I mean, we've read all these books already. Uh, we read them in the in the playthrough, but I'm, I'm reading them now. So, next up, Red Eagle's right. Uh, what, what was there something I wanted to say? Yes, actually, there is something I wanted to talk about. This says that this story is in first era. <clears throat> I thought this wasn't that old. Like, I, I thought this was like this happened sometime between Oblivion and the events of Skyrim. Mm. Well, it says first era. So, I don't know. Mm. Whatever. <laughs> Maybe I'll look at it later. Maybe I will. Alright, Red Eagles writes. I'm probably not going to look at it right now. No, you're not. Are you? No, you're not. It'll take too long. Alright, Red Eagles right, which is only one page. Okay. <laughs> Having bathed the blade in human blood, presented at Rebels Khan, together with your sacrifice and in tone. Lord Red Eagle, Ancient One, first and foremost among Reachmen, heed the call of your people. Still we fight for freedom. Still our blades are dark with blood. Turn your gaze upon us and grant us your blessing anew. I renew the ancient covenant. When at last our lands are free, we shall return, your sword of victory in hand. Let arise, O Great One, from your honored tomb. Reclaim thy stolen throne. Rule over us, High Lord of the Reach, forevermore. <clears throat> okay, cool. Uh, let's go to Law. Are you really going to look this up now? I'm going to try to. Alright. Well, huh? oh, you might as well open this up. <clears throat> So where do you go to get the histo history? First era, there you go. So hang on. What? <clears throat> uh, Talos, aka, God, I've forgotten his name. What's his name? I've forgotten his name! Oh shit, what is his name? Talos' name? Yes. Oh my lord. What, what, whatever, yes, that guy. Sure. Um. Shit, I know, it's, it's not Uriel, no, it's not Uriel Septim, it's Tiber, Tiber Septim, Jesus Christ. Alright, Tiber Septim started the third era, correct? <clears throat> yes. The second era was all about Redoran, or, uh, re 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 second era is when uh, Elder Scrolls Online takes place, right? I think so. So what's the first era all about? <clears throat> well, it's the Camonian Dynasty, oh, founded by King Elpia. Uh, it's a Valenwood. Valenwood? Okay. Sure. So it's the aliens. The aliens are the elves? Or the humans? Uh, aliens are the humans. All right. So when when did... <clears throat> we read, um... We read, uh, the, 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 the sea ghost, uh, last... When did that happen? Probably in the Merethic era, before that? <clears throat> you mean, when did the people of Atmore come down to Skyrim? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Thanks. Uh, you're very, you're very, very helpful. Um, Elder Mary, Elder Mary, Elder Mary, Elder Mary, a lot of Elder Mary going on. <laughs> Dwemer. <clears throat> the Dwemer! Well, when did the Dwemer go down? <clears throat> First era? 
I think, yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I think the Battle of Red Mountain. A uh, Res, Resdian. That's the one you were talking about. Um, <clears throat> Velothi. Uh, no, okay. The Proto Nords in the final migration of Atmora settled in northern Tamriel. <clears throat> Nordic hero, Yeskimo, yeah, yeah. So that happened in. Uh huh. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, that happened in the Merethic era. Cool. Sovereign God? Dreams of Sovereign God? Okay. Whatever. Okay, shut up. Go back. Yeah, go back. <clears throat> okay, so the first era. Uh, <clears throat> you said it was. <clears throat> it'll be the 10th century. Mm, okay. Uh, if I can find it. Uh, I'm about to 500 now. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Uh. Orsonium. 11. Okay, here we go. Yeah, okay, okay. So, in 1029, High Rock is admitted into the Legion Empire. No one cares. Alright, yeah, 1030. The Legend of Red Eagle. Reachmen under Falun put up a strong resistance uh, against the incursion of the Legion Empire into the Reach, though they are ultimately unsuccessful. Uh huh. That's all it says. Okay. What I was really wanting to know was more, I wanted to know more about the Reach. Hmm. Because, like, it seems like the Reachmen of Skyrim really don't know what the original idea of the Reachmen was. Because the, the, the original Reachmen were like, we're talking about, like, thousands of years ago. Like, a lot of, a lot of these, um, eras, there's like three eras, right? And we're in the fourth era now in Skyrim. Um, well, it's granted that the fourth era has only been 200 years, but um, most of the areas are like, you know, thousands of years themselves. Um, when did this fucking start? Uh, the rich men believe that their people originally came from High Rock, that makes sense. They believe their ancestors, yada yada yada. Yada yada yada. Culture, yada yada yada. Infamous, magic, person. Yes. History. Uh huh. Early society. Following the collapse of the first empire of the Nords. Whenever that was. The Western Reach was retaken by the Aldermary, who slaughtered the majority of Nord colonists. As a result, Nordic ancestry of the Richmond is comparatively weak. Proximity of Richmond settlements in the Orcus village meant that the Richmond frequently traded goods and customs with their mountain neighbors. Okay, that's... Well, there's all like one eye. So, Olaf one eye, which we read we read that recently, the uh, Olaf and the dragon. That was... So, his reign was first era... Oh, his reign was first era 420 to 452. That's like 500 years before this. Damn, okay. Hmm. Legend of Red Eagle, there we go. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, in First Era 2704, following the defeat of the Akaveri invaders and the establishment of the Second Empire, <clears throat> in First Era, yada, yada, Emperor Reman focused on the madman of the Reach and sliced the Reach into two pieces. Hyrak controlled the Western and Skyrim controlled the Eastern. With the growth of the Second Empire, not one decade passed when armies often set the other day. Okay. So they're constantly suppressing their regiment. The Longhouse Emperors. During the six and seven years. Yeah, I don't really care much about this. Old Heraldon? Oh, Old Heraldon. I know about that. Fourth Sworn Uprising. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, that's the... Yeah. That's the Skyrim shit. Society, no one cares about society. Society. Society, okay. Are you done? Uh, yeah. Go back. What are you, what are you doing? I think I've gone too far. I have gone too far. Shit. Nice one. Oh, they don't have names. Okay, sorry. Uh, what did you want to look up? I wanted to look up something. I wanted to look at... What did I want to look up? <laughs> the First Empire of the North. What's that all about? Well, I assume that would... Oh, God, why Why the fuck are you going to Google Maps? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why would it go to Google Maps? What? 
I clicked on the link on the fucking Skyrim wiki and it's taking me to fucking Google Maps. What? Why? What the f- What the hell? I don't know. That's, that's the weirdest thing. Okay, anyway. The First Empire of the Nords is the collective term for the Nordic Kingdom during the phase of expansion in the First Era known as Skyrim Conquests. The capital of the city was Windhelm. Oh, there you go. Where a First Empire palace still stands. Mm hmm. Wait, is this relating to Yuzgrimmel? I don't think so. Really? Wait, wait when, when did this happen? Uh. Well. This is probably, this is probably after Yuzgrimmel. Well, Yusuke what happened, what, you said first era 400 something? Yes. Well, this is saying first era 2040. Sorry, 240. <clears throat> yeah, maybe you won't. Okay. So, yeah, the Nords, the Nords were like trying to take over Morrowind. They were trying to take over everything, and then <clears throat> Nerevar and uh, Dimac Dwarf King, who we heard about in uh, in Morrowind, they joined forces and drove uh, the Nords out. And now I have no internet. Great. Well, that's it. <laughs> Alright, uh, well, this has been a reading of the Elder Scrolls and a little bit of uh, lore for funsies. But for now, my name is Leo, and I will see you next time.